This video is for those uh, who heard of tidal waters or tides or different other terms in different languages but those who live uh, outside the tidal uh, water area and heard of tides and probably they didn't care what's about or maybe they learned in a geography class uh, or maybe they were curious so if you are curious uh, here is um, a real thing yesterday around uh, seven o'clock I got here and the water was around you see that uh, floating white white plastic stuff and I look at the tidal charts for Vancouver area and I knew that around uh, 8 20 p.m. Is, was going to be a uh, highest tide and it says I have two more feet so I thought okay from that that level the water will increase um, up to that log maybe so I have to drag my my kayak somewhere high high ground to prevent the, the water to keep moving it and scratching it and stuff like that I was not really concerned that the uh, tide will take the uh, kayak away but to, to make sure <laughs> Uh, there is no tsunami or big wave or something. I used uh, a big rope that I found here, the rope that's tied into the ground. So I used it to tie around my safety line on my kayak. Then I did my, uh, my stuff. Then I went to have a nap. And now this is the tide. The, uh, I mean the uh, low tide. I'm not quite sure if uh, we are the a lowest level of the tide but look what's the difference what's the big difference so it's about I would say over two meter and a half uh, level the difference between the lowest tide right now and the highest that was last night and I'm thinking hmm how I'm going to take my kayak which is heavy all the way to the, the water because I want to get out um, so I thought, should I wait a couple of hours or I don't know. So my plan is to empty the kayak. So I took my, my stuff on the side and I'm going to take the kayak through those, uh, those rocks area. It's a very difficult terrain to, to carry something heavy. I can tell you. So I, my, by myself, I can jump like a like a mountain goat but with a kayak I'm a bit concerned so I have to come in here get through these rocks uh, they are not slippery lucky me but I still have to look down while I balance my kayak and here it becomes a bit slippery and also I don't want to scratch 